Hello everyone! A stable video diffusion release went viral in the AI news this week. I am going to show you how to create YouTube video using stable video diffusion AI animation and comfy UI. Previously we did some dance video animation, this time we are going to do a storytelling style video. You can check out the end of this video for the final output result. So, stable video diffusion, we're not just here to bore you with installation talk, we're diving headfirst into the exciting part, the nitty gritty of video production. If you want to learn how to install stable video diffusion in Comfy UI, you can check out this video, link in the description below. Alright folks, it's time to buckle up and unleash your inner Spielberg. Get ready to create YouTube Shorts videos that'll have your viewers' jaws dropping faster than a clumsy squirrel trying to cross the road. Oh, and my good old subscribers and friends, please said hi in the comment section below. So let's get this party started. To get started, we need to open up our comfy UI just like we always do. Next, we'll load up the SVD workflow that I created in our previous video. If you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and grab it. The link is provided in the video description below. So my workflow can do both text to video and image to video conversions using the current stable video diffusion models. I added a little trick in the beginning so that within a single workflow we can go from text to video animation. Now let's talk about how we can use this for YouTube videos. You can create any video you can imagine, whether it's a short form YouTube video telling historical stories, those are going viral right now, by the way. Or if you have some extra time, you can even go for a long form video, 10 minute or even 30 minute video, depending on your production time. In this tutorial, we are going to use text to video. So I am going to bypass the load image in the middle of here and connect the image workflow together with the video output. In this word file, I've already created the story using chat GPT. Using this text prompt, I instruct GPT to create a story for me. You can specify the background of your story, the characters involved, and then ask ChatGPT to write the content for you. Then I ask to create scene descriptions and a voiceover script for me. In Stable Video Diffusion, we'll only be using the scene descriptions to generate images and transform them into videos. I've used a similar workflow process using SDXL text to image and then bring to another AI video generators like PikaLab, Runway ML, and Genmo.ai to create video animations in my previous tutorials. But with stable video diffusion, we can streamline the whole process by using just one workflow in Comfy UI. This eliminates time and process for switching between platforms and using different software. So it would be fantastic if this workflow executes successfully. And for all you Stable Diffusion fans out there, it's definitely great news for us. So, let's try out few scenes together and create some animations. Of course, I would not do the whole story line in this tutorial, because that will take you watch a 2 hours long video here. So, let's start with this one. I am using the video scenes description from ChatGPT. And of course, I have to edit this a little for SDXL model to understand, and add some styling prompt in here as well. Then we set the width and height for each scenes. This time I am trying with Juggernaut XL model version 5 to create some scenes. Then data pass to this group. We are going to use SVDXT model here. And remember set the width and height in SVD conditioning that match with the empty latent. The video frames, I am going to use 42, so that will be a 3 second output. Here's how we calculate this, the frame rate output times number of seconds, and this is the number of video frames. So usually about 3 to 4 seconds for each animation scene, then we will be stitching it together in video editor next. Here is the frame rate that I set, then everything looks good, let's press Q prompt and run this. Okay. The SVD workflow is starting. So here's the preview image. Then the image data passed to SVD group to work on the animation. Let's check out the task manager. So you have an idea how many resources that are going to take for each animation like this. 
Well, for my setup here, it's not too much eating up my memory and processing power, but it's depending on your hardware setup. I am just showing mine here as a reference. Okay, the video almost done. Let's see. Yes, it's something what I expected. And I am going to continue finish up the storyline here. So, normally for 3 to 4 second animation, it took me fused minutes for one generated result. And here is the full view of it. Now we are going to work on the voiceover script. This time, I'm going to use 11 labs for the narration. I have test few voice on here as you can see. So, for our story, I want a voice that is deep for narrative video voice. Um, Let's try this one. The biggest room in the world is room for improvement. Yep, I like this one. So what we are going to do, we will copy and paste each line from the story voice over and let 11 Labs AI read for us. We are going to select each line here. Then paste it in this text box area. And then set your voice here if you need to. But I am fine with the current setting now. So let's generate some voiceover. In a world where struggle was a daily companion, a young boy named Ethan dared to dream beyond his circumstances. Okay, sound good for an AI, right? And one of the cool thing in Eleven Labs is that you can translate your voice over audio into other language. So in the dubbing section, you can upload your audio files here and translate the language you want. The cool part, it use your same voice to speak the targeting language you select. Well, it sounds funny sometimes when I hear my own voice like this. Let's check it out. Here is an example of one of my previous tutorial audio file translate into Chinese Mandarin. Amazing how AI can do this. Then I can create another channel for Chinese Mandarin audiences. And here is the voice lab you can test with other voice or your voice cloned one. And here is the voice library with bunch of voice style you can test out with. You can also download your previous voice from the history page. So I have the animation scene and voice over file here. For my preference, I like to rename it to scene by number so it will be easier for me to manage. If you have over 100 scenes and voice files, it will be a pain because you won't know which voice belongs to which scenes if you don't rename it. I know other video editor also do that as well. And then you can bring those files into video editor like here I am using DaVinci Resolve. Or you can use other editor like CapCut. I will show you the CapCut later in this video as well. So in DaVinci Resolve, drag those file from media pool into the timeline. Then I am going to trim out some dead air time in the audio track and align the timing on video track. I am going to fast forward this part and keep generating the rest of the story scenes in Comfy UI using SVD. A few moments later. Alrighty. The other rest of the scenes I decided to generate images first, then load image into video animation because this way I can cherry pick images that are suitable for the story. Oh my goodness, this guy looks like Boris Johnson, but with less hair. <laughs> anyway, one of the good thing of using Comfy UI is that it can queue up prompt for generation. So I can stack up all those image to video animation into the pipeline. Then I can have a coffee, go for a walk, or play some Call of Duty. So let's check out all animation when it's done. A few moments later. So all uh, scenes are here. Now I am going to use CapCut. Because this tool has lots of transition animation for you to play with, and it's pretty easy to use video editor. As I saw, lots of viral shorts video in YouTube are using transition effect from CapCut as our tutorial here. This is what we aiming for. So, I am going to load all animation MP4 files and audio files in this CapCut. Then I am going to editing the whole storyline here. Also, trimming dead airtime in audio, adding transition effect between scenes, and add a little lo-fi background music here. When you drop all audio and video file into the timeline at once, 
you will find the benefit why I am rename those files when I generate it from Comfy UI. This bring a lot easier for me to identify the content in Storyline. Let's check it out the outcome of this storytelling animation video done by Stable Video Diffusion. Before that, I would like to thank you for my supporters in Patreon. If you caught up into any problem, you can reach me in the Patreon community. Now, let's see what we did from Stable Video Diffusion. In a world where struggle was a daily companion, a young boy named Ethan dared to dream beyond his circumstances. Ethan's family, burdened by poverty, faced their own battles, but their love and hope kept them going. But when his parents separated, their fragile world shattered, leaving Ethan and his mother to face life's hardships alone. One fateful night, their lives were forever changed. In the face of unimaginable tragedy, Ethan's mother succumbed to her pain, leaving him with a heavy heart and an uncertain future. At the tender age of 15, Ethan found himself orphaned, left to navigate the world on his own. But within him burned a fire, an unyielding spirit that refused to be extinguished. Through perseverance, Ethan discovered his passion and the power of entrepreneurship. Under the guidance of a kind-hearted mentor, Mr. Johnson, Ethan's potential began to flourish. Ethan's innovative ideas and unwavering drive propelled him to new heights as he founded a groundbreaking tech company. But Ethan knew true success meant more than wealth. He used his power to establish the Phoenix Foundation, offering hope to those who had suffered as he once did. Through education and mental health initiatives, the foundation became a beacon of light, empowering children to rise above their circumstances. Ethan's journey from despair to triumph inspired millions, reminding the world that even in darkness, one can find strength and purpose. Ethan's story became a timeless legend, a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the power of making a difference. The Phoenix's ascent from adversity to abundance 